Hi everybody. I hope you all are doing well. I'm super excited to have all of you here. I am with you from my Bangalore home office. And if you can all hear me and see me, just give me a big hi on the comment box. Just give me a, a big hi if you can uh, see me and hear me. I wanted to make sure. <clears throat> Just give me a big hi, please. Okay. First of all, I'm giving you a link. And I would like to request you to download the file after the webinar. This link, I'm just giving it to you. Here is the link. And you just uh, keep this link with you. And after the webinar, you just download it. Okay. I'm very excited today. And I'm here, here, I'm here to help and extend support to all my medium tour operators, small and medium tour operators, and any level of tourism professionals. I'm going to share with you a few practical secrets of Packers Tour that will spin your mind. And I'll be I'll be showing you the path to differentiate yourself in the world tourism industry. Either you are a tour operator or a holiday expert. I can assure you that, at, that this session is going to change your entire concept on Pakistan tour industry. Even those who are not from the tourism background, suppose here. I promise you by the end of this webinar, you will have enough understanding about the tourism industry and you will think that you can be an active player in this industry. Today, I'm going to show you how you can become independent as a tour operator or tourism expert. How you can be able to scale your tourism business from 1x to 5x and from 5x to 10x in just a few months. I have a few questions to you. How many of you are here faced uh, actually these types of issues in your business or profession? I'm giving you a few examples now. Like I have got an inquiry for a honeymoon couple for six days, five nights. What should I suggest my client? I have got an inquiry for a, for a family trip for seven days, six nights for Singapore. How should I make a perfect plan for my guest? Perfect tour plan, I mean. Then again, for seven days, six nights, Sikkim and Darjeeling, how many nights should I keep my guests to Lachum and Lachim? What should be the best itinerary for Europe for a group of, say, 10 per pe persons would like to visit in the month of July? Then again, how should I send a uh, presentable professional quotation to my clients? How should I pick up the hotels for my packages? What should be the best practice to maintain my, to maintain my office accounts department? Should I purchase <coughs> lead to grow my business? How can I make sure purchasing leads is a good idea for my long-term business or not? Then again, should I work on a third-party platform or not? So I'm sure that there might be many such issues you come across in your day-to-day -day business and profession because I have been in this industry and worked very closely for more than 15 years. Now, what if I say today, now you don't have to worry about all those types of issues that you face in your day-to-day -day business or profession. And you can become independent if you wish. What if, what if I say today, there will be no trade secret and everyone in the, in the industry will be given the full opportunities and the only competition will be, the, will be for the best. What if I say today that even, uh, even you are a, if you are a B2B or B2C or a small or medium holiday owner or any level of tourism professionals, you will also keep a consultant for a lifetime who will not only be guiding you 
but continuously helping you to develop your skill and to grow your business. So if you would like to be independent and differentiate, then this webinar is for you. You must have patience to attend this webinar till the end. So I hope you are excited to learn and know how we can bring a change in tourism. If you're excited, please type excited below. If you're all excited, please type excited below. We'll start the journey now. Okay, thanks Mangesh. Thanks Ashok. Today is 25th of November, Thursday. At 8 p.m. we are here. And I would like to thank all of you from the bottom of my heart for giving a valuable time. And I promise you, I'm going to deliver you the best of my ability in this 120 minutes so that you feel that I have given full respect for your valuable time that you have invested here with me. Okay, let's discuss the, uh, discuss the rule of the webinar. It is going to end at 10 p.m. And I want you all to stay till end. If anyone has some work or would like to leave in between, I will say to leave it now only because it will not make any sense to leave in between the webinar. It will be only meaningful if you will be able to make yourself till the end. So I would like to know how many of you are promising to stay till the end over here. I hope you will stay till the end. Now, the second rule is that I would like to request all of you to take out your pen, paper and pad and keep it with you. I want you all to note down all the points and the ideas that you will learn here. Guys, one idea can change your life. One idea can change your business or professional career. So don't underestimate the power of even a single idea. I will tell you why. For last more than 15 years, I was working on worldwide tourism products, but I was not getting the right way to reach you all. Last year, when COVID came and the entire tourism industry got shut down, I was just sitting at my home doing nothing. One day I saw an advertisement of Avi Arya on Facebook, stating that one can do business and earn in any market situation. Since I was having enough time to waste, I can say, I thought let's waste this 90 minutes attending the webinar and see what this guy is saying. In that particular webinar, Avi Arya was the presenter and the speaker was Siddharth Rajshekhar. And that single webinar, trust me, has changed the entire concept. It has changed my entire concept. I don't have any mentor so far tourism knowledge is concerned, but how to build the platform through which I can reach you all and bring a worldwide revolution. I wanted some mentor to guide me. Now I have mentors like Siddharth Rajeshekhar, Abhi Arya, Vic Strises. So I would like to tell you once again that a single idea can change your life, your business or your profession. And the third last rule, <clears throat> I would like to tell you that we will do question and answer session of at the end. So please keep your burning questions uh, ready when I will be asking you to throw your questions, please ask me. I have noticed that many of you has one common question in your mind that how this course or training will be helpful in your business where some, some might be over here 10 years, 15 years or 20 years of experience in this industry. So I want you to ask me, I want those people to ask me who are more experienced all the toughest question at the last. I don't want any question in between the session. It will disturb the rhythm that I'm going to share with you. I hope it is clear and we are going to honor the code of conduct of this webinar. Now, before I start, I want to confess one vital truth. I believe here many of you might have attended earlier many webinars and you have noted that the speaker always at the beginning 
shows the credibility like in last so many months i have earned so much amount i have so many students in my community i have achieved this and achieved that and if suppose if the speaker does not have his or her credibility it was a borrowed credibility of his member his or her mem a member's achievement but here in today's webinar i cannot be able to borrow anyone's credibility or i can be able to show my credibility or you can say my past experience related to niche tourism academy even if i want i cannot be able to do so why it is because i am the first in the world who has brought to you the practical package to learning why i am emphasizing the word practical it's because if you learn package to theoretically you can never be able to run efficiently your tourism business <coughs> i'm sorry the subject needs 75 percent practical and 25 percent theoretical then only you can be able to become the master of your trade or profession so guys there are advantages as well as disadvantages of being the first in the world it's a huge risk the advantages are that uh, there is no competition or less competition people always remember the first provided it gets success and the disadvantages are that there is no record uh, to prove the authenticity and it becomes very hard actually at the initial stage to bring one into confidence am i right but if you stay with me till the end i'm pretty sure that i don't need any past credibility to convince you or to build trust for me this will automatically be going to happen so guys are you with me okay please type with me and i want to see again how many of you are still with me okay once again I'll, uh, okay thank you once again for being with me and now i am going to start with my five observations we will start with five academic observations related to tourism industry i mean package tour and i would like to see how many of you agree disagree or you don't have any idea if you agree with my observation write it agree a pool i'm going to conduct the pool if you agree with my observation you agree with it if you disagree honestly disagree and if you don't have any idea just put it no idea okay now let's start the <clears throat> pool okay my first observation actually is indian tourism market is predominantly an unorganized sector how many of you agree disagree or you don't have any idea I would like to request you to respond on this pool actually i told that in i it is my observation that indian tourism market is predominantly is an unorganized sector how many of you agree disagree or you don't have any idea you can put it the second one is that even students pursuing degree courses from recognized universities and institutions lack the basic knowledge on pakistan how many of you agree disagree or you don't have any idea <clears throat> i'll just give you two seconds actually to reply because there are a lot of things to cover for me okay now the third one is 90% of the tourism professionals lack the grassroots level knowledge of tourism in india how many of you agree disagree or you don't have any idea the third one of the first pool is that courses on air ticketing hotels and hospitality are widely available no a fourth one sorry uh, tourism colleges i'm uh, sorry i'm sorry the fourth one is uh, tourism colleges or institutions are yet to provide a specialized curriculum and package to this is the fourth one this pool agree disagree or you don't have any idea no idea okay good okay the now the last one is courses on air ticketing 
hotels, hospitality are widely available. But authentic package tour courses are still not available in the world. I'm not talking about only in India, but it is not available in the world. This is my observation. When I have done the R&D, I have found this one only. Okay. Now, this just for your actually knowledge, I have just conducted this pool. What happened now? I wanted to reconfirm my observation, talking with few professors at colleges like Indian Institute of Travel and Tourism Management, NSHM, DSMS colleges and all, and also few top, uh, I can say tourism fraternities. I asked them a simple question. I said that, do you think after getting the graduation or post-graduation degree, when the students enter into their professional world, they are fully ready to work without any further training? Or they have to go through the scratch with the practical training in their offices? And whomever I have asked, all agreed that there is no such curriculum on Pakistan tour. But you know what? Nobody came forward to associate or support me. It is, I understood it is because of their superiority complex or their shops will be closed. Anyway, I'm not here to dive into any contradiction. Let's move ahead. Now I will <clears throat> brief you about the industry overview. Industry overview of this tourism industry. We will start with evolution of online travel industry in India and its impact on a small and medium tour operators business. Actually, though in the year 1996, Travelocity was the first online travel agency, but it was in the year 2000 when Make My Trip came into online travel industry of India. So 1996, Travelocity was the first online agency, but in 2000, Make My Trip came as a brand in India for online tourism. But still, uh, we have found that uh, from 2000 to 2005, we, uh, there, was, uh, there was not much growth in the online travel industry. But when in 2006, Via.com, Yatra.com, Cleartree, these three companies when came, The online travel industry started spreading uh, its wing pan India basis. Then again, in 2008 is my trip and in 2011 travel triangle also appeared. At the same time, uh, we have seen that companies like Holiday IQ in 2004 and also in 2011 uh, trip crafter. Okay. Holiday, uh, companies like Holiday IQ started in 2004 to help Indian travelers plan their holidays and share experiences on their platform. Initially, Holiday IQ started collecting all the database of hotels, resorts, homestays and lodges, as well as giving uh, travel uh, related information on their website. But the whole process of Holiday IQ is to collect the lead and sell it to the travel agents of India. Also, Tripcrafter, I told you, this Tripcrafter is also in 2011. Tripcrafter also came. The, the sole purpose is to sell the leads. So it was an online, this Holiday IQ Tripcrafter and all was an online lead collecting and selling company like other players also was there, Hello, Hello Travel and many more in the market. Now, going back, to make my trip via.com, yatra.com, is my trip, clear trip. Actually, these are the few big names I have mentioned, though there are many players in the market. They became successful in online air ticketing and online hotel booking. The reason of the success, I'm going to explain you later in this webinar. But they miserably failed on package tour business. Yeah. Now, again, I told you that in 2011, we have seen Travel Triangle came and they started providing third party platform. 
to the tour operators with free leads. But Travel Triangle also was not the master of this trade. So the online companies, what happened? They wanted package tour data. I mean the product as well as the knowledge of the trade. I'll brief you later and everything. You just slowly, slowly try to understand. And all these packages to data and knowledges were years of hard work and experiences of small and medium tour operators. Different methods were adopted by the online companies to acquire those data and knowledges. Some started tying up with B2B agents. Some offered a working on their platform on a commission basis. And some started selling leads to many agents. So what happened? What was the consequences? The consequences was your years of experience in building your tourism product that was your asset and you have just passed who does not know tourism. They have collected your data and in couple of years emerged as a giant in Indian tourism industry. Even the capital ventures pumped thousands of crores in their project. The B2B agents were thrown actually into the red water zone, red water zone area of business to swim by selling one lead to many agents. They created a competition among you and you like a fool, I'm sorry to use this word, was a part of these competitions for your temporary short term benefit. Among you, one got benefited and many lost per transaction. <coughs> but these players always kept themselves in green water zone and each transaction they got benefited. They said they were your partner, but they never have been a partner of any risk. These are the consequences happened as per my assumption. Now. The next step was to collect the digital assets and vendors assets of small and medium tour operators. This is the second step what happened and needless to explain that they were successful in collecting your digital assets and vendors assets. They made their hub even some of them forced to communicate on their encoded email ID so that you cannot have your digital assets. It will take actually whole day for me to explain all this. So I am just giving you an outline for you to understand now. You cannot be able to deny that at the initial stage when these companies were fully dependent on you, on you means small and medium tour operators, B2B and B2C, especially B2B tour operators. They supported you beyond limitations, but slowly and steadily when they found themselves independent, they started dominating you. And what was the factual impact? The factual impact is this. I can guarantee you that not a single small and medium tour operator grown their business by purchasing leads in India. Name me a single tour operator if you can. You have never been supported by those online companies to establish your brand and grow your business for a long term basis. Not a single Online, this giants, I can say these companies tried to help you providing any product knowledge because they did not know. Even no one tried to give you any technical knowledge. Why they sh sh uh, should they give it to you? So did you even think all this? Come on, guys, you are doing business and you cannot do business closing your mind, eyes and ears. So what happened at last, your product became their product, your years of experiences become their experiences at no time, they save their time and your assets, digital assets become theirs. My question is, what have you had in your hand? Think about it. Furthermore, they started web marketing. Now, again, after the third step was what happened. They started web marketing by appointing those players who do not know the tourism. 
even a pan wala is started becoming a tour operator the travel and tourism regulation rules and regulation to become a tour operator is so pathetic i can say in our country that anyone can easily get a tour operator trade or establishment license so the online air ticketing and hotel booking uh, i can say grown more than 10 times the small tour operators were losing control on hotels and air ticketing because of the emergence of monopolistic market in order to survive in a package to business you people have been forced to buy hotels online from them is it true or not tell me so from 2010 to 2019 in this 10 years the small and medium tour operator business businesses were made dependent i hope you all will relate with me now post pandemic the tourism industry is going to boom again and at more pace than before it's a matter of time only and you will see the growth i'm telling you but during the pandemic period that 18 months no business the entire uh, tourism industry got stuck standstill so during that pandemic period when most of the small and medium tour operators had to close their businesses this online tourism industry made further preparation to take advantages of post pandemic growth today's alarming factor actually on an assumption i am telling you what i can see i would like to share a warning for our tourism agents tour operators which is very dangerous and if no steps if you are not going to take any steps for your business actually i can say it will kill many travel and tourism agents forever how i'll tell you few players are offering you white label system where the customer can book the entire package on the website, including API based booking and agents are choosing for this as it looks that this will save their time. Once chosen for this web website, your work is only to share the link of your website to the client and it's over. You, the agent will think, okay, it's over. It's very simple but it could be a go game over for you in short you will be an employee of this portal or later on it can prove a societal step for those tour operators how i'll show you we all know that customers has already started to book flights and hotels online due to this discounts and better price holidays are still untouched and many companies tried but failed because still they lack clarity on the fundamentals of faculty now these white label portals are trying to build a system where customers can book end-to-end -end holidays right now they are using you to bring and educate the customer on automated booking and later they might bypass travel agents as customers will uh, be used as their digital assets and this will be really societal okay now unfortunately associations like thai etc are promoting these uh, this in the webinars instead of telling the agents to boycott the same even some b2b companies are also promoting such companies under their white label program for a short term benefit all this you know all these companies are running on vc's money and burning cash to offering discounts today and with your support they will educate the client negotiate better rates with supplier due to high volume and later on will start b2c and target your clients you will be thrown out of the market or you have to be fully dependent on them to survive in the industry you will not be independent my dear friends 
Now, my question is, you might have a question that uh, is this scenario of tourism is only in India? No, my dear friends, it is same everywhere in the world, but countries like India, Africa, etc. being affected the most. Okay, I'm not going to discuss those reasons due to the time limitations here. Let me give you the three secrets that will help you to start this movement. Because I'll tell you why. Remember, guys, every 10, 10th house in this country will go on a holiday every 6 to 12 months. So can you afford not to be in this industry? So guys, one minute, let me close the PowerPoint presentation. Okay. So guys, tell me how many of you here would like to know that even being a small or medium tour operator, you would like to stand with the top guns of this industry. Please type yes, would like to stand on the comment box. I told you, would you like to stand with the top guns of the industry? That I'm going to show you how you can stand. Now, let's start the journey together. And you have to decide now or never. Because it's your decision that decides your future. Nobody is going to decide about your future. Let me introduce myself uh, to you all in brief. Guys, I don't have any degree or diploma in travel and tourism and hospitality. To be very honest, I cannot name anyone, anyone whom I can say is my mentor and I learned tourism from him or her, anybody. I came into Pakistan business by chance and not by choice. By education, I'm a cost accountant and MBA in finance and I have worked eight years in a multinational freight forwarding company, Hekni Transportation Inc. Uh, actually, um, whose head office was in Hong Kong and I was in the finance department those days in the year 2005 i came back to india because i used to miss my country always those days i was thinking to do some logical business incidentally i met uh, a person called sahir m latif uh, in the year 2005 who had a company called silent valley wilderness camp and he had a vast knowledge of offbeat destinations lesser known places during the first meeting he was explaining the destination as if I was virtually experiencing it. And that triggered into my mind to start a holiday company. So in the year 2006, I started tourism with lesser known places like Bhitar Kanika, Daringi Badi, Elephant Valley, Bhaluk Pong, Bongkulung, etc. And in this way, by chance, my journey begins. Currently, I am the founder director of Kudan Leaf Lodges and Resorts, Indian Film Services, and Nice Tourism Academy is my dream project on which I have worked for 15 years. For 15 years I have worked. Now, by the way, Nice Tourism Academy I want, actually I wanted to share with you that Nice Tourism Academy has already backed two awards and both the awards being received by most promising startup. Number one from this one, Global India Business Forum and this is Indian Achievers Award. I've also been actually featured in Business Tycoon in April, this year, April edition. Okay, now back to my introduction again. How many of you heard about the tourist spot called Daringi Badi here? Daringi Badi is a hill station in Odisha and it is called the Kashmir of Odisha. We were three persons, Kishoranjan Mahanti, Anil Swain and me who explored and discovered Daringi Badi in the tourism map of India. It has been featured in Telegraph those days. This was my first landmark in the year 2006 in the tourism venture. Since I was continuously working on lesser known places worldwide, I thought to introduce polar expedition to Indian tourists. So in the year 2008, I procured the rights to sell Antarctica with association with Quark Expedition. 
those days not a single holiday company in india thought about promoting antarctica again i introduced amazon rainforest and machu picchu and association with green tracks i remember george was has given me the exclusive selling rights for india to sell Ant uh, amazon uh, south america and south america with green tracks in the year 2008 i also met christian adler during those days and he was a south german scientist and a veteran guide of the polar region so i had also with him uh, selling exclusively for north uh, greenland east greenland svalbard and other polar regions at the same time i introduced one of the best ecotourism of the world to my indian tourist that is called arctic ecotourism Bathurst Intel Lodge used to have one of the best uh, tour, means I can say Arctic ecotourism program, only for 40 days a year. Only for 40 days in a year. And each program was for eight days, ex Nunavut region. So they used to conduct only five tours of eight days in a year. That means five into four, 40 days in a year. And I found that their tours are booked before six months or even a year. This tool has so much demand in the world, but it is unfortunate that still to date, Indian tourists are not aware of this one of the best Arctic ecotourism of the world. Now, despite introducing so many unconventional travel destinations in India, I could not gain significant success. The three reasons I could not make it. There are, there are the three reasons. Those days, my priority was commitment towards my family. And the other two reasons were lack of adequate resources and funds. But I did not give up. I was regularly preparing worldwide tourism products and working on customization of tour. And today I can guarantee you that I have one of the best organized worldwide, worldwide destination product in my database. And it is for niche tourism community members. That's why I told I'm working for, for on this niche tourism project. I'm working from last 15 years. But you know what? It was not an easy task for me. Even I used to sustain loss in my business because I was not, I was concentrating on building products. So uh, actually sometimes we have to give short-term sacrifices for long-term gains. I have also given yeah i have also given industrial training to the tourism postgraduate students of dsms colleges that comes under bardwan university for four years here yeah. it was those days only when the first time it actually came into my mind to build a practical package tour uh, courses that can directly help all the tour operators and tourism experts in their day-to-day -day business and they can grow at any level they desire even what you are going to learn here in my level one course it's a hard work of years of mine in addition to all these backgrounds i was also the chief product and technical consultant of Prefactory. It's an online package tour company based in Bangalore. Uh, how many of you have heard about uh, Trifactory guys? Let me tell you something about Trifactory. The founder of Trifactory is Mr. Vinay Gupta. I call him Sir. He was also the founder of Wire.com. And I believe you all know Wire.com, whoever are in tourism sector. After the success of Wire.com, he sold the company and he started his new venture, Trip Factory, in the year 2014. Trip Factory, I can tell you, is the only company in the world, not in India, in the world, where you will find the customization of tour package. Package tour. From the year 2017 to January 2021, I was with Trip Factory as a chief product and technical consultant officially. But still unofficially i am with vanessa and i don't want to talk about the contribution i made with that project because i believe in near future vanessa should come forward and tell the world about the contribution i made 
with his project. Now, what is my mission? Let me tell about tell you about my mission. My mission is to bring five lakh core tourism packets to professionals who should have the full authority of the fundamental of tourism at their fingertips. And to build tourism professionals worldwide community. Our community's product and services in the world tourism industry should not, uh, I say, uh, need not any introduction. We can dominate the tourism industry by bringing a worldwide industry uh, movement. I can say. In my last 15 plus years, I can say in tourism, there are many guys who learned from me and opened their holiday companies. I will not say that they managed to learn systematically. They had to learn in bits and pieces. And today they are business owners and some of them are holding a good position in, a report, in reputed uh, holiday companies. But now I have brought a systematic practical way of learning on Packers too. So that, so actually I know the value I'm going to add to your business or career. So I'm completely not worried about selling my product. I am only focused on adding 10 times value, more value and saving others time. So my clear cut vision is to help and support you. You means the small and medium tour operators and also the tourism professionals who would like to be in a holiday company like us to business. Money is actually a byproduct for me and it will anywhere come. Let me actually tell you before I start, let me tell you one story how I became a part of Trip Factory project. It's an inspirational story. Those days no one knew me. I was just running a small holiday company with 300 square feet of office and few staffs in Kolkata. In 2016, when Minasar organized a grand conclave where I was also invited by one of his executive, uh, his name was Albert, and I found that there are more than 400 tour operators and travel agents from all parts of India being invited to the seminar. After the seminar gets over, I discovered that Vinesar is talking about a similar project on which I am working for last two years before. So I thought that I can play a key role in transforming his vision into success. It was not simple for me to convince actually Vinesar and competing those 400 plus uh, tour operators and agents. Vinesar, actually, I'll tell you, whose foray into the world of technology and travel is recognized among the top 10 travel businesses created globally in the last decade. Even it took me several attempts, actually, to meet him. And it was a challenge for me to convince him that I can contribute to fulfilling the objectives of Trip Factory. I'm saying challenge because, you know, uh, Vinesar is not from the Pakistan background. So it was dif difficult to convince people like him. I hope you agree. But since I was confident that I'm the only one in India who can be able to guide him and contribute the best possible way. And I know he is going to accept my pro proposal and he has no choice. In those four years in Trip Factory, many guys, four or five years in Trip Factory, many guys came in the product department. Vinesar has given them full autonomy to strive me with my product and tourism knowledge. But no one ever managed to ascertain it. See guys, here I'm not trying to tell you about myself. What I'm trying to tell you that I was just a peanut so far my recognition was concerned. No one knows me. A small office and in a dead city, Kolkata. I used to do my work. Whereas Delhi, Mumbai, Bangalore are far ahead in tourism business. But I had a vision and that was not small. I had a big passion and I was confident that I'm doing it exclusively. So the moral of the story is if I am dreaming today that we are going to build apple of tourism sitting in India and not in USA or Europe, it is very much possible. If we will have vision, passion, and confidence. How many of you can relate with me and you are serious enough to make a decision right now, guys? How many of you?
okay i want only serious people in my community because this is the current demand of tourism industry after covid the tourism industry we can say that it is back to 1990 but at the same time you have to understand that the technology is of 2021 so who is going to survive in this industry the question is now the good is going to replace the average the better is going to replace the good and the best is going it will be replacing the better so now it will be i can say only survival for the fittest so if you are not serious to become the best right now this webinar is not for you and those who are serious i'm asking you that if i'll prove you in this one hour or one and a half hour time that you can be able to differentiate yourself in tourism world and you are going to survive and grow your business or career within 120 to 150 days then let me be straight forward and throw something right now directly to you if i can prove you how many of you are ready to make a financial decision of 9999 please type below i am ready on your comment box i wanted to see how many of you are serious to bring a change in your business or career if you say no it's okay cool listen to this webinar gain some knowledge and please go but i want only serious people here who pays attention uh, sorry who pays money understands the value and gives attention and when one gives attention puts action and it's the action that gives the result that is how i have designed here the system of learning of this community so now let's begin please uh, type below let's begin i'm going to uh, share with you three secrets that are going to prove you that you can differentiate yourself and you can bring a change in your business or career i know alone i'll i'll tell that alone i cannot be able to bring a change but anyone has to start guys and i have taken the initiatives i am sure in coming days many like minded tourism professionals like me will start the same movement to drive this industry in the hands of core tourism professionals now we will start with the secret number 1 one minute secret number 1 is awareness we will start with the awareness let's have some awareness we will start with the educational we will see the educational and professional background of few renowned founders and co-founders of tourism world emphasizing on india here you see here you can see the company's name i have given in the left hand side and the founder's name on the right hand side make my trip the founder was i'm sorry is uh, deep kalra yatra.com there were three co-founders uh, co Dhruv Shingri, Sabina Chopra, Manish Amin. Wire.com. I already said Vinesh Thar, Amit Agarwal. Travel Triangle Three: Sankalp, Prabhat, and Sanchit. Holiday IQ: Hari Nayar. Get Your Guide: Jonas Rek. This is not in India. Expedia: Rich Burton. Uh, Rich Burton. You everybody, I think so, knows uh, Expedia. Sea Trip: James Liang. Museum: Fabio Jekhani. and also trip proper i have given the name the rajiv and oman as uh, these are the co-founders now why i have i have given you the company names and the founders actually name and here actually i have noticed about these dignitaries that no doubt they have done done wonders in the online tourism industry in the last decade they have contributed a lot and it will always be remembered but anyone can tell me here what are the common factor among all these founders and co-founders is there anyone who can tell me the common factor guys please 
what is the common now Jay, mangesh uh, all are not indians uh, because uh, this expedia founder is uh, not an indian mangesh no no i'll tell you okay okay let me tell you none of the above founders and co-founders are from the tourism background and i assume till now that they still have not taken the pain to become a root level professional. You go and check their educational and professional background after this webinar. They are not from the tourism background. Actually, we always hear that travel is a part of education. It's true. But a travel enthusiast cannot be a co-tourism professional until and unless one is acquainted with the fundamentals of tourism. You have to wait till end and I'm going to prove you. I'm going to prove it to you all in this webinar. So I, so what happened? I can see all these stalwarts, all these online tourism companies. I can say the founders and the managements also, all these stalwarts are driving the tourism business on technology, intensive marketing and borrowed data. I know many of you here might be thinking, how can I actually, how one can say so, but this is the fact that I have studied and found to start actually online air ticketing and online hotel booking business, even if the founder or the co-founders and top level core management is not from the root level of air ticket of air ticketing and hotel booking can easily be able to justify with the project because you know why for air ticketing and hotel booking the global distribution system the gds is available so here the technology has the major role to drive the business but package tour is completely a different ball game there is not a single gds for package tour in the world so we can see what you can see now we can see a big market gap and when the market gap is there, there is innumerable opportunities in package tour business. I'm trying to show here on a practical basis that still there is unlimited scope exists in the tourism industry. Those who are not from tourism background, I'll tell you, they think combining online air ticketing, hotel rooms, borrowed attractions or sightseeing, transportation services, etc., makes a complete online package. And 90% of the world's online package tour industries, guys, are running on the same principle. Trust me. You go and check after this webinar. I can say only 10% are the real heroes who are, are who has a real understanding on package tour business. 10% but they are not global players and so we even don't know them globally no one knows them globally so if you check those real heroes background the 10 percent real heroes background you will find they have come from the root level and the founders of those companies are well aware of the fundamentals of tourism So my outcome in the package tour industry, when I have just done this, actually studied this one, is that it is technology that is driving the product. Technology is driving the product. The reason is very simple. The founders, I mean the engine, are not from the root level tourism background. And if they will not have complete clarity on the fundamentals of tourism business, even if they give 100%, they cannot be able to justify all the areas of the project. Or the project means package to project. You see, by borrowed product and knowledge, you cannot showcase your project as a specialist. Am I right? That is the reason most of the top online tour holiday portals driving their entire, entire actually business mainly on technology, marketing and promotion. I hope up to this, it is clear. Now, again, let's have another pool. 
what I have told you. Now let's have another pool. I'm giving you my another observation. And again, I would like to request you all to respond with agree, disagree, or no idea. Now here, the first one, top online companies are spearheaded by leaders who do not come from travel and tourism background. Now you tell me how many of you agree, disagree, or you don't have any idea. I have already explained you now. I'm asking you, top online companies are spearheaded by leaders who do not come from the travel and tourism background. I'm talking about the worldwide, huh? not only in India. Now, second one, tourism companies are driven by leaders. Without the in, in, uh, intrinsic understanding of the industry and therefore maximum travel businesses are standing on a very weak foundation. How many of you agree? disagree or you don't have any idea okay someone has uh, disagreed it good no idea okay so this nobody agreed on it okay the third one is talent with sound product knowledge in this business can bridge the gap in the online tourism industry how many of you agree, disagree, or you don't have any idea? Talent with sound product knowledge in this business can bridge, bridge the gap, the gap what I have shown. Okay. The last one is absence of innovative tourism in the global tourism market owing to lack of awareness is creating bottleneck for successful business. How many of you agree, disagree? Or you don't have any idea. Please respond. Okay. So, okay. Now, so what is your takeaway here? Anyone can say? Anyone can tell me the biggest opportunity in tourism business that we can see? We can see that the tourism industry badly needs such global players that should have the root level knowledge on tourism where the product will drive the technology in the project. And it is not the technology will drive the product. It will make a huge difference, guys. So this is the takeaway. I hope you will agree with me now. Uh, people, uh, you, uh, people can say that uh, what is the difference if technology is going to drive the product or product will drive the technology. It's same. Not, uh, not at all, my dear friends. From my experience, because I have worked with those guys, I can say that it is like two sides of the river. I'm simply, I'm simply trying to say without any doubt that the online package tour industry needs those core tourism professionals who can drive this industry in an organized, scientific and better way. Now, how many of you over here try to dig these types of uh, issues related to Pakistan and had in your mind that much better can be done in this industry also? Because those who are not from this industry, they are hammering their brain and they're coming out and they're just becoming bigger and bigger and you are in tourism have you thought about it okay now let's move to another important discoveries the another important discovery is is marketing and promotion being the only biggest tool to make a brand popular and become a global player my question is this my question is that is marketing and promotion is the only biggest tool to make a brand, I mean, tourism brand uh, or any brand popular and become a global player. Because in tourism, we find that this is the actually myth and the concept for online tourism industry that marketing and promotion is the only tool to grow their business. And the capital ventures are pumping money to them for that reason, huge money. Here you see, I have given 10 multi-dollar brands 
that do, uh, they don't depend on traditional marketing budget. Zara, the first retail fashion store opened in 1975. And as of 2016, it boosted 2000 stores in 77 countries. Krispy Kreme, Sri Archa, Traders Joe, Costco, Kales, Spanx, Lululemon, GoPro, Click Magic. I've just given these 10 names. Okay, now let me close this PPT file. These are the 10 names I have given. So there are many brands in the world so popular, but they don't need to advertise, my dear friends. You have seen that mostly all the online travel house. I am sure you have seen that mostly all the online travel houses love figuring out how to woo their audience through mass through massive marketing and promotion. And so what they do, they allocate a huge amount of marketing dollars. But we don't find in tourism industry. Actually, but we don't find in tourism sector, I can say any such online agency that is worldwide popular and they don't need to advertise. What I am saying online and not offline, my dear guys, because there are offline holiday companies in the world that are popular and they don't allocate any huge amount on marketing and promotion. But, but those offline companies are not global players. So we can say that in online package tour, this is the huge market gap and market gap means simply means opportunities. The question is why? Why this market gap has not uh, been able to fill till now? I'm sure you, uh, you, are, you all are excited to know. Well, wait till end and you can be able to figure out the solutions automatically yourself. Correct diagnosis is required to do the treatment and correct treatment can only cure the disease. Now, actually, I have just given you, shown you 10 such brands that don't need to allocate marketing advertisement cost, but they are still popular. They are very popular. What is the reason? And how they made themselves popular? This is that question we should have in our mind that how without marketing they have become so much popular. So what happened? I have noticed four major points of their business success. The four major points that are, these are the four major points. Target your product and service as well. Educating your team on your brand values. Take quality seriously and create truly one of a kind customer's experiences and focusing on niche growth and sourcing user generated content. These are the four major points, although that those 10 companies only that I have shown you. And that's why they have become popular without spending much on marketing. I hope till now it is clear. Now, we will uh, try to find out the third and the last important finding. That is marketing and promotional expenses on tourism by few online companies. Let's see the figure of marketing and tourism uh, uh, expenses. The marketing and promotional expenses on tourism by few online companies. You can see Expedia 5 billion US dollar. Booking.com. Uh, this is in the year 2019 before pandemic. Uh, 5 billion US dollar. 4.97. This is also near about 5 billion. And in this, uh, our Indian company make my trip point eight billion billion. These are the marketing expenses. They have burned so much on their marketing and promotion in the tourism industry. You can see here. Now, furthermore, I would like to tell you, you can see that make my trip is spent a total of 109 million US dollar. That is a, that comes at those time exchange rate 730 crore on sales and marketing during the year March 2016. Yatra also has expended 612 million Indian rupees in 2016 
and Expedia you see 4 billion, 10 billion, 10.6 billion in 2018. This is the, this, these are the figures. Now the question is, why I've shown you, do you think we need to understand why these leading travel agencies are spending so much or we can say burning so much on marketing? What is the reason? Remember guys, finding out the reason for a problem gives birth to the opportunities. But uh, let me tell you one thing, all these figures what I have shown, marketing and figure ex expenses what I have shown are the combination of all the travel and tourism sectors like airlines, hotel industries, holidays, etc. In fact, for package tour, we don't find any separate statistics. But we cannot deny the fact that most of the online companies burning rate or marketing are high. I hope till now it is clear. I have the awareness has been created now. Now get ready to understand the threat and the future of tourism, uh, threat and the future of tourism, uh, 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 threat and the and the opportunities actually of future tourism. I want all of you to understand nicely here. What is the threat of tourism and the opportunities also? I'm going to discuss now. According to Forbes, Forbes is the Ameri American leading business magazine. There was an article published on 2nd October 2019 before pandemic and it said online travel agencies need to reinvent themselves to fend off rising cost and Google. Two threats they have told the rising cost number one and Google is the second. The Forbes report has highlighted the following three factors. New rivalries, costs and commissions and disruptor headaches. These are the three factors. Now let's in very, what new rivalries? The biggest threat in travel planning could eventually come from the tech powerhouse. From where it will come? It will come from the tech powerhouse that helped OTAs become successful in the first place. And after years of quietly building a brand in travel, Google today has become a leading option for travel search second to Expedia. The second one is costs and commission. Besides companies like Google and the rising competition, there are factors like high operating cost, business model, an increase in ACM, ACM means search engine marketing expenses, are also the culprit that need to be considered seriously if one would like to exist in the travel industry. And the third one is disruptor headaches. The OTAs and the other travel industries are facing rising ACM, search engine marketing cost, overcrowded marketplace and disruption by new waves of innovators and big corporate names. Actually, you see this OTA we call no are basically not travel agents. They are supposed to be called OTP. OTA means online travel agents, but they are not supposed to be called OTAs agents. They should be called OTP online travel platforms. Now due to indirect booking and commission in between there is a price war in the market. So what I mean to say that there is a huge scope of direct booking in the world, in the worldwide package tour industry, even in India. Now, this is the report I have told. And so this report digs the huge opportunities in the package tour business worldwide. That's why I tried to pinpoint few important data and facts, and I'm sure you have much broader level of awareness now regarding the package store industry. Now let's jump to secret number two. Secret number one, now we have finished. Let's jump to secret number two, blueprint. We have seen the problems, the opportunities, how we are going to tackle these opportunities. What is the actually blueprint? Okay. Before I share my secret number two, I would like to do my third and last pool and please respond, agree, disagree and no idea. This is my last actually pooling is there. 
this will be also interesting for you most of the holiday companies this is my actually viewpoint do not want their personal to learn the trade secret because they fear that after learning them they might start their initiatives they they will start their own initiatives do you agree disagree you don't have any idea then again similarly b2b agents prevent the learning of b2c agents to prevent them from starting independent initiatives this is happening in the market do you agree disagree you don't have any idea do you the third one is most of the tourism professionals do not actually join the domain with specialized tourism knowledge and which in turn actually is affecting uh, the overall efficiency of the tourism industry do you agree disagree or you don't have any idea the last one every year this is basically this observation i can say not post pandemic before pandemic uh, pandemic actually every year innumerable travel companies comments and close owing to lack of awareness knowledge initiatives and industry oriented skill means many companies they open the they come with a dream to become a tour operator and after that they have to close down do you agree disagree or don't have any idea okay now let's go back let's go back what we have seen now that most of the online industries is currently driven in the following sequence what was the sequence that all these our companies are driving now technology marketing and promotion and borrowed product data borrowed i'm telling because they are borrowing it from the small and medium tour operators they don't have the ability still to make their own product because their fundamentals their their professional fundamentals is not clear guys and i can say with full of confidence because i am also a product guy so at present the main weapon we can see of doing tourism business is technology and then marketing and since the product are mainly outsourced we find in most of the platforms what is happening there are duplication of products unorganized display of products high prices absence of direct interaction with the ota and the customer and even the absence of ai artificial intelligence product data which in turn would have helped the customer our customers to plan their holiday online instantly so we find marketing and promotion burn rate is high that is the reason they are fully dependent on mark technology technology will be there marketing and fully dependent on marketing and promotion in order to sustain their business therefore the requirement of the hour post pandemic is going to change now as i said the blueprint of offline as well as online it's not only online i'm talking about the offline also of the tourism industry in many parts of the world should be in the following sequence authentic product data authentic product data means theme based product organized and complete product breakdown of each pieces of product then technology comes definitely technology will come will play the role we cannot actually uh, leave technology in any business now and then the third will come marketing and promotion first priority is authentic product data then technology and then marketing earlier what was happening technology first marketing second and product was also but it was a borrowed product so this is this is the blueprint this should be the blueprint of future tourism business is it clear my dear friends i want all of you to understand very nicely this blueprint if you can understand the blueprint you will understand further what exactly step by step is required to implement and you when you will know the steps your action becomes very easy and simple and it is your action only that will give you result money and success you guys you see guys actually for any successful long term business you need to do a solid homework 
Yes, my dear friends, without homework, you cannot be able to leave a, actually an impression in the market. And bringing an impression in the market is not so easy. It needs a lot of intelligence, hard work, patience, and a never die attitude. And one more important point I would like to highlight that the more solid and better you will be at your homework, the less competition you will be facing in the market. Because you know why, while building your solid foundation, you are automatically eliminating your competitors. To compete with you, your competitors we have, will have to give the same amount of hard work, time and effort. Remember two things in your business. I'll tell you the two things. You must focus on building a business that is hard to compete. And number two, you should never stop innovating. These two things always remember, my dear friends. So once you will have a great product for your business, then you must look for marketing options. It is always said that a great product needs great marketing. Great marketing does not mean huge marketing expenses. Great marketing in terms of great ideas that can trigger the pulse of target customer. So the current tourism market demand, those types of packages to business where the product will take the technology, marketing and promotion. Now, if we say on an assumption percentage wise, it should be like this. Currently, we can say that technology is 40% is online tourism industry, marketing 40% and product borrowed product only 20%. Future blueprint should be product 60%, which should, the company should give priority on product. Then 30% technology and marketing only 10%. Automatically, the price war we are going to fight, the price war is going into the market, we are going to dominate. Now, so we can uh, we can say now we have the blueprint of the current tourism gap that opens the unlimited business business opportunities. Again, I have found that there is an urgent need of worldwide network of tourism knowledge under one platform. I'll repeat urgent need of worldwide network of tourism knowledge under one platform. First of all, let me explain you that why there is no such worldwide network of tourism knowledge under one platform, why it is not there still. If you can understand the reason, it will be easier for you to work out the solution. You see guys, uh, you have to first know who the real heroes in the Pakistan business. Who are they? The real heroes are those business owners who sell their product as well as look after the entire operation. That means what? That means they provide all services directly that they have been promised to the client. They are fully acquainted with the delivery system. But all these real heroes area of operation understand is limited. To a certain region. Uh, for example, you can say a holiday company is selling Andaman and acts as a B2B agent or a wholesaler or a consolidator, is well versed with the tourism knowledge of Andaman only. Now he might not be an expert in the tourism knowledge of Himachal Pradesh. Again, someone suppose selling Europe as a wholesaler could have well versed knowledge about the certain part of Europe and might not gain mastery on the entire European region. So currently we, we can say that the tourism knowledge is scattered in bits and pieces in an organized way. And that is the reason there is a need for a worldwide network of tourism knowledge under one platform. I can guarantee that no company in the world can be able to manage to bring the tourism knowledge under one platform without a proper network. Without a proper network, they cannot be able to do it. Whatever money investment they can, let them invest, they will not, they will not be successful. 
so there is a demand that someone experienced and from the root level tries to build this network by bringing all these bits and pieces into one umbrella into one umbrella with what with same quality product same sop standard operating procedure for sales operation marketing etc same pattern of knowledge on destination and same brand worldwide i'm sure that you all are now under actually under understood the future scope of holiday business this is the right time in fact i can say that this is the best time for everyone who would like to be in tourism profession or in tourism business you all can make a huge difference in tourism world and start a worldwide movement now let's quickly get into the secret number 3 how to equip those unlimited opportunities this is the secret number 3 i this is the action now we have now understood the worldwide market gap and also we are looking the opportunities ahead in this industry now how to equip those uh, those unlimited opportunities in the best possible way is the vital factor we need to understand and also we need to take immediate action are you all excited to know the best possible way to equip those unlimited opportunities and make a difference in the tourism industry please type excited i am and ready for action because now is the action time initially you need only two level to achieve step by step to grow first and start preparing yourself to grab those opportunities in the tourism world tourism industry and remember you have to go step by step only and there is no other option now the level 1 level 1 is clarity of the concept concept means on practice in the first 18 days you have to make yourself fully clear the concept of the fundamentals of practice tour and from the 19th day either you are a professional or a business owner you will have the clarity and concept to move ahead independently in the right direction in your business or profession you see guys in any business if you if your concept is not clear your foundation will always be weak and once the foundation is weak i can i can guarantee you that at any point of time in your profession or business you are going to get stuck a clear understanding of the concept of the business that you are doing is mandatory this should be your step one also in your level one i am going to help you to identify your niche area that will help you to grow your business exponentially and build a brand those who say that i sell worldwide uh, actually uh, um, uh, handle worldwide tourism package in fact they are doing nothing you have to identify your niche area if you would like to grow you will get the product support from me supplier support also if needed you will get it from me and all possible help and all this free of cost and it is priceless this is years of my experiences and now the third you will be also be a part of this of the community of co tourism professionals network and the advantages are unlimited that i cannot be able to explain right now here because of time limitation and this is also priceless now level 2 this is the main level level 2 once the concept is clear and you will understand the right method of doing your business in level 2 you have to work on your foundation that should be so strong that no one can be able to shake you in 120 to 150 days you have to work on building your foundation and once you will pass through this lit this litmus test i can say there will be no doubt calling you a root level tourism professional or business owner you will become the right person to sit on the driver's seat to take this industry to any extent you want 
you will start thinking about tourism at a different level you will start working at a different level either it is your profession or business it's a guarantee guys you will be differentiated also you will be in a position to take your business online without depending on anyone you will learn here and the third one after completion of level 2 you can even start your consultation with full uh, con uh, with your full con confidence to any online tourism companies of the world now what's next level 1 level 2 now level what's next now all these things scaling your business to a different level uh, then learning implementation of technology marketing and promotion in tourism sector building your own hub getting recognized as a as a niche area of tourism specialist start generating actually organic leads and brand building and many more such things all this you will be implementing in your business or profession only after level two it is suggested then only you can be able to get the best result and do something extraordinary actually guys i'm not saying here that as a tourism business person or expert you have to implement all this advanced level in your business because slowly and steadily niche tourism this platform is going to provide you all the tools and support your business to grow this is such a platform where you don't have to work on product because i have already worked for you in the last 15 years you will get the product and all so niche tourism is a movement and if you would like to distinguish yourself you are invited to join this movement i'm sure you will never regret being in this community we at niche tourism are here to make your dream true because here we have a system people fail but the system never fails so guys now awareness blueprint action discussed that you need to become the master of your trade and your profession as said i want here i already said repeatedly that i want here only serious guys in my community so if anyone i'm again asking here if not 100 percent convinced that to build a skyscraper the foundation should be very strong then i will tell this community is not for you the course and curriculum i have built are not available in the world market and I mean it with full confidence. So I want only those who are willing to pay attention and are serious for themselves. My only advice to you, as my mentor says, don't be cheap to the journey of your business. I have worked very closely with top online companies and I have noticed that the top or core level management people lack root level knowledge on fundamentals of micro scale. So it's your turn to grab the opportunities. The course will show everyone to see tourism industry from different angles. The course is what I have built and to take it to a different heights. Our job is actually not only to talk about the numbers, marketing, promotions, customers behavior, traffic, leads, etc., but also to know package tour authentically and to well acquainted with the fundamentals if we if you acquire with those things our all the other these problems will be automatically 80 percent will be solved like marketing promotion leads traffic will be solved okay what i'm bringing here is only a webinar special that will be valid till midnight today this is only for those who are action takers now i am going to brief the curriculum of package to blueprint This is Package Tour Blueprint. There are five courses are there in this Package Tour Blueprint. And these five courses are designed to start actually your holiday business and profession perfectly. Package Tour, though this is the world first Package Tour digital curriculum for small and medium tour of uh, uh, medium entrepreneurs and tourism experts. Number one, the first one is Package Tour Secret. 
This course will help you to understand the real meaning of back to school business and the factors to put you ahead in the world tourism market. Here you will learn who and why this is this course for the area of market gap in Pakistan to worldwide industry, important statistical data on online tours and activities in the world, the top online travel agencies selling tours and activities, the major factors that determine the top online travel agencies, the self-discovery process in the world tourism market, the roadmap to build the tourism skyscraper, and what to expect in this journey. The price of this, actually, the, not the price, the value of this actually course is 27,992. The second one is Tour Business Blueprint. This course is designed also for the small and uh, medium business owners who want to start a holiday business or for those who already are in business. Here we will cover the fundamentals of starting a tour business, types of holiday companies, what is B2B and B2C, location factors, obtaining government licenses and permissions, basic requirement for online existence, manpower selection, understanding package tour and type of services under package tour. The value of this course is 18,000. The third one will be air ticketing blueprint. In air ticketing, you will learn understanding air ticket and air ticketing, different types of air carriers, classes of services airlines provide, the factors that determine the fair pricing by the airline, understanding the airline pricing policies in a practical way, importance and implementations of air ticketing services in Pakistan. too, list of top recommended B2B domestic and international air ticketing online agencies in India, what is white label in air ticketing and its usage in a Pakistan tour business, uh, then what is dynamic airfare and how to handle in a Pakistan tour business online and offline. Then air ticketing services while floating a fixed tour packages. Important online package to terminologies that you will come across while growing your business online. The value of this course is 18,000. Now, hotel business blueprint. Uh, in this hotel business blueprint, it will, it will be covered importance of hotel booking services in package tour business, top hotel booking online agencies for domestic tours, Top hotel booking online agencies for outbound tours, how to pick up hotels in a package tour business, both for domestic and outbound tours, few online hotel platforms that are not recommended for package tour business, how to create your own list of hotels in a package tour business, reason for weak Indian online domestic packages, and the solution roadmap to fill the market gap, precautionary measures to see, I'm sorry, precautionary measures to use hotel services in your outbound tours and its remedial measures an idea about the hotel gds this is the value of this course is 18000 now two transportation blueprint here you will it will be covered understanding the car rental and transportation service in package tour business the modes of transportation in package tour the implementations of car rental and transportation services in package tour in different parts of the world methods and important factors while partnering with domestic transport providers as a B2B and B2C agents, partnering international transport pro uh, providers for outbound tours, it do's and don'ts. The importance of services in car rental or transportation services in package tour business. This is a complete practical approach so that you can be able to use car rental and transportation services in your business efficiently. The value of this course is 18,000. Now, my dear experts, before I can, I will go ahead, few important questions I must clarify in this webinar before you take a decision. Some of them here might be 10 years, I said 20 years experience in tourism business. So the question is why they should learn and since they know everything in tourism. I would like to say to those, uh, to them, that there is no end to learning. I am still learning and will always learn. So those who think that they know everything and no need to learn, then this platform is not for them. This is the platform for those people who would like to change their situation and have the willingness to change other situation. The more experienced you are, the more value you can add to the tourism world. And I am just providing here a system, systematic platform from where you can bring a change in the tourism industry. I'm just giving a platform here. Now, number two, 
Nowadays, you will find different organizations are making Telegram group, WhatsApp group, and other social plat social media platform groups of tourism professionals. And the members are interacting with one another for getting quotes, updating the latest tourism news, etc. That's really cool. But have you thought, have you ever thought, what is the purpose of making those groups? Are they providing you any systematic training so that you can take your business to a different level? Are they providing you? You will find everyone in the group focusing on bringing business for themselves. Everyone has their self-interest, but in niche tourism community, the environment is completely different. Here we have a system where the mindset is to support each other, to prepare ourselves to become independent, unite together to stand with the big guns of the industry and to become a brand of reputation in the market. Now the third one, I will tell you that the one more interesting fact in this academy this academy will bring you, uh, uh, will uh, actually in this academy is the path to take your business online to any extent. How? You might be confused now, but it's true. The step by step training will show you the path to your online business where you will sit on the driver's seat and ask your developer to work for you. If your fundamentals are not clear, you can never ask anyone, any developer, nobody to work for you properly. And the last one I'll tell you, another significant benefit coming to this platform. Many B2B agents go through a dull season. Suppose Sikkim B2B agents mainly have five months of peak season in a year and the rest seven months, either they face shoulder or their low season is there. Now coming in this community, those agents will have the opportunity to sell destinations that have peak season. They will get the product, supplier contact, and all the training, as, um, as well as the training, and that will free of cost. No charges will be taken. Guys, it is really not possible, uh, actually, uh, possible to talk uh, about all the benefits in a single webinar. We will all discuss, we will be all discussing all those benefits, future planning, etc. in our weekly masterclass or monthly hackathon. Okay. Now, still I have not finished and I have many more to give you. So it gets even better with six bonuses. There are six bonuses over here. Okay. Now the, the value of this course, I'm sorry, I just missed it. The value of this course, this five bundles is 99,990. Now the bonus, there are six bonuses over here. Number one is visa services blueprint. Understanding visa services and its requirement in package to business, different categories and types of visas in travel sector, recommended list of top B2B online visa agencies in India, procedure to obtain tourist visa. The most important point to consider before applying the, for visa in a package to business, the general formalities and documentation to obtain visa for any countries of the world, proper and correct method to approach the B2B visa agents to avoid any mistake. The value of this course is 18,000 that you will get free. Now, travel insurance, you will learn here, understanding travel insurance and its requirement in package to types of travel insurance plan and its importance, recommended tra top travel insurance companies of the world with its best value, for a theme-based package tour business, list of uh, travel insurance companies of India, important points of consideration while applying for travel insurance, learn practically how to apply online travel insurance without making any mistake, implementation of travel insurance services in package tour. This course will make you the master in implementing travel insurance services in your package tour business. The value of this course is 18,000. That also you will get it free. Now guide services blueprint. Here you will learn understanding the meaning of tour guide and tourist guide in the package tour business. The career scope and job prospect of a tour guide. Tour guide area of service specialization. The social qualities and qualifications of tour guide. Top skills required to master this game. Top recommended online uh, guide services platform of the world. Practical implementation. Practical implementation of guide services in package tour top colleges and institutions in India for guide courses and the secret to use guide services in your business 
that can be a game changer for your business. The value of this course is 18,000 that also you will get it on free. Now, cruise services, the fifth one is cruise services blueprint. In this, you will learn conceptual clarity of cruise as a service in package tour business, types of cruise services, implementation of cruise services in package tour efficiently, understanding the, uh, understanding the pricing of different cruise lines, then popular ocean cruise lines of the world, the main components and elements of cruise line, understanding the routing or itinerary of cruise, important points, points need to be familiar to become a cruise expert or to sell cruise packages and important recommendations for the travelers before starting their cruise journey. The price of this course is 18,000. That, that also you're going it, getting it free. The last, this one is decision making blueprint. Here you will learn five valuable tips to reduce load of work and the code of conduct of niche tourism academy four evergreen formula to think critically in your business or profession to grow nine important points for applying mental modeling ideas for appointment of staffs in tourism business ideas for retaining of staffs in tourism business is very very important this course is for everybody then few tips to avoid for your business to grow managing finance in a small and medium holiday company a compact course of right decision making that is must for everyone the value of this course is 20000 that also you will get it on free and upon completion of all the courses the all the level, uh, uh, 10 course uh, uh, yeah 10 courses of package to blueprint there will be one to one clarity session to clear all the doubts and move ahead confidently we will have one to one clarity session during this clarity session you will be able to define we are going to define your niche area of business or profession and the understanding will allow you to prepare confidently for your future course of action either is it is in your business or is in your profession you will be able to find out the correct roadmap upon actually which you need to work to grow your business or profession to any extent. The value of this one-to-one -one clarity session is 8,000. That is also, you will get it on free. So the bonus bundle one lakh total value, you're getting it on free if you're taking the main course. So total 11 courses are there. Total value is one lakh 99,000 and the website promotional price is 9,999. But I told you that I'm going to give you a special webinar special offer till midnight and that is for the action takers. So I'm going to give you from 9,999 another 50% discount and that is 4,999. I'll just share you the link over here of this payment link and this payment link is valid till midnight only because this is a webinar special price. I'm not going to give to anybody. One minute. Yeah, I have just shared the payment link with you here. And this is this is limited time offer till midnight, 4,999. You will get all the 11 courses. As well as time to time, you will get a lot of things. I told you that free consultancy for the lifetime will be there. Then we, we I'm going to give you actually a few more products actually so that you can actually grow your business. There are other benefits is also there but this is mandatory you have to learn all the courses and also that your fundamentals should be very strong so i have shared you the link this is valid till midnight now you can ask me questions and i'll be happy happy to reply all your concerns so please type all your question and answer i'm going to actually reply your question and answers any question guys before I conclude, I would like to actually answer all your tough questions. Please ask me. Any questions?
I think so. No one has any question. Okay, fine. I'm just typing my email ID here. Uh, NICAT tourism. If you have any question later on also, you can just send me a mail. I'm definitely going to actually reply any of your concerns. So last, before concluding, I'll tell you all, come and join the movement and differentiate yourself. It's guaranteed you will be differentiated. Okay, thank you very much, uh, all of you, for giving so much time. I hope you must have learned a lot. A lot of awareness has been created in the tourism industry. And you can now, whatever the figures and whatever I've discussed, you can go to actually do your own research and see what I have told you is correct or not. Thank you very much. Bye.